Hey guys, it's KevyDog4, and I'm getting two videos up in one night, which is awesome, because I haven't had very much time. So this is my, my Game 6 recap. These games happened, let me check my calendar, on the 28th and the 29th of April. It is May 8th. I'm getting closer, but not very quickly, so this is my Game 6 recap. There were four games in four game sixes, eight teams made it to game six, and two were eliminated. So, I will start off with my overall highs. Kemba Walker had 37 points for the Hornets, DeAndre Jordan had 20 rebounds for the Clippers, Isaiah Thomas for the Celtics, and Kyle Lowry for the Raptors had 10 assists apiece. Marcus Smart from Boston and Monte Ellis from Indiana had four steals apiece. Blocks, Paul Millsap from the Hawks and Hassan Whiteside from the Heat had four each. And Kemba Walker from the Hornets, Mo Harkless, and Damian Lillard from the Blazers each had four three-pointers. Okay, Thursday there was only one game, and it was one of the closeout games. Atlanta took the series 4-2 to two from Boston. 104-92 was the final score of Game 6. Field goal percentage Atlanta was 51.4% and Boston was 36.2%. Three-point field goal percentage Atlanta was 33.3% and Boston was 21.9%. Free throws Boston 94.4% and Atlanta 74.1%. Turnovers Atlanta had 18 and Boston had 12. Isaiah Thomas had 25 points and 10 assists for Boston. Kyle Korver had nine, re nine rebounds for Atlanta. Marcus Smart from the, Celtic from the Celtics had seven rebounds and four steals. Paul Millsap had 17 points and four blocks for the Hawks. So Friday's games, there were three of them. The first one was the Pacers and the Raptors. Pacers evened out the series 101-83. Series tied 3-3. Free throw percentage, Indiana was 88.5 and Toronto was only 64%. Paul George had another big game, 21 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 assists. Kyle Lowry had 10 assists and 2 steals for the Raptors. Monte Ellis had 4 steals and Miles Turner had 4 blocks, both for the Pacers. Game 6 of the Heat Hornets series, the Heat even this one up to 97-90. to 90. 3-point field goal percentage, Miami was 50%, and Charlotte was 29.4%. Rebounds, Miami had 46, and Charlotte only had 31. Paint points, Charlotte had 52, and Miami had 38. Kemba Walker had 37 points, 5 assists, and 2 steals. Al Jefferson had 9 rebounds for the Hornets. Dwayne Wade had 23 points, 4 assists, and 2 steals for the Heat. Frank Kaminsky had two steals and two blocks, and Courtney Lee had two steals for the Hornets, and Hassan Whiteside had seven rebounds and four blocks for the Heat. So the last game was the Blazers and the Clippers. Portland took this last game. They won the series 4-2. 106-103 was the final score, and three-point field goal percentage, Portland was 43.8%, and the Clippers were 25%. Paint points, Clippers 50%, Portland 36%. Jamal Crawford had 32 points and 3 steals. DeAndre Jordan had 20 rebounds for LA, and Austin Rivers, Austin Rivers had 8 assists for the Clippers. Mason Plumlee from Portland had 14 rebounds, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. So that's all for this video. Only 2 games went to Game 7. So, win or go home, and I will tell you what happened in my next video. I'm not sure if that video will come up tonight, but it, it's a quick one, so it should hopefully be up by tomorrow no matter what. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And my Game 7 recap from Round 1 should be up soon, so make sure you... Keep your eyes peeled, because it will be here soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in that video.